happening, it would be hard to pick one particular thing, whether it be shopping, um, the music, dancing. I think the fact that it brings fans and collectors and performers and everybody together and you get the best of the best. elegant beauty that is lost a lot in today's modern society when especially in a New Zealand culture we're very casual. I love pin-up um, culture and um, the confidence and attitude that you can bring when, you, when you're all dressed up is fantastic. I think everybody's excited to get their good clothes on and show everybody their favourite vintage piece and that's so important. I think you know a lot of these clothes sit in wardrobes and it's great for the girls to get all dolled up and spend a lot of time getting ready to come here. People should come because you should always take yourself out of your comfort zone. An extravaganza. The shopping. The shopping. So I really want to see confidence in the pinup girls. I want to see them really embodying uh, pinup culture. I'm looking at the really fine details, right down to the hair and makeup as well, as well as poise. I mean, that's a really important part. If you're going to be Miss Pinup, of course, you've got to be able to pose, strike your stuff on the catwalk, and your deportment will be very important. But it's also about the inner beauty. We know with pageants, it can always go on looks, but we're also looking for that inner beauty. And somebody who really oozes that vintage pinup style. Somebody who's going to represent New Zealand pinup very well. Uh, somebody who carries themselves with confidence and somebody who shows their love for what they do. Oh, no, no. 